First graphene supply, production scale volumes of high quality graphene platelets. We want to see graphene used in as many applications and as many markets as possible. Hopeworks, which is part of the breeding group, manufactures about 1.5 million tonnes of cement per annum, which is the biggest single plant in the UK. If you can make the cement stronger using a graphene additive, you can use less of that cement in your final concrete product, and that final concrete product has less embodied CO2. Personally, I have worked in the cement industry for 10 years before joining the University of Manchester as an academic. So I had some connections with some ex-colleagues at Breeding, which was where the collaboration stemmed from. The Transforming Foundation Industries Challenge really allowed us to work with these big organisations and give us a focus to approach those companies and tell them, we've got a solution, are you willing to try it? Without the challenge, we wouldn't have had anything to go to them mm -hmm. with. My emphasis has always been on applied and practical research. TFI gives that opportunity. It allows you to interact with the industry. You can actually see the impact and the benefit of what you develop theoretically in the lab all the way to practice. The team at Hope were interested in uh, partnering with First Graphene because it was a new process. Nobody had tried to do this uh, before and it presented many challenges when you take something that's lab scale, transfer it to the industrial scale. The way we chose to add the graphene into the cement was through a liquid additive into the mills. So as the cement ground in the mills, the graphene was added and that cement flowed out of the cement plant just like any other product. So during the initial trial, we made hundreds of tons of this material. Went through to Morgan Sindel to make trial installations out in the field so that they could then later be monitored for performance. We see future trials, there being a scale up, many more hundreds of tons to potentially full industrialization of the product. If these trials go well, then we can see this process being scaled, not just across the UK and Telder cement plants, but all across Europe and then eventually all across the world. We're very keen to innovate with new materials. First Graphene has proved a valuable route for continued innovation and we look forward to phase two trials.